Europe has some amazing theme parks, but sometimes they can just be a little bit too expensive by the time you've flown out there, got like a hotel for a few days, and then flown back with park tickets. It can be quite expensive, but have you ever considered going to a theme park in mainland Europe and coming back the very same day? So welcome to My Life in Coasters, where in this video, I'm gonna be revealing a very big and exciting trip. Uh, but it's just for a day, uh, so that's what I'm going to get into. Yeah, there's so many theme parks in Europe, they're so amazing, they've got lots of amazing roller coasters, and of course, like most of us, I want to check loads of them out. But when you factor in like accommodation and going out there for quite a long time, essentially a holiday, you can't fit that many in, and normally it costs quite a lot. But what if I said there was another way, a way of doing it without any accommodation, without taking any time off work or going out of school or anything like that, where you fly out, um, leave like the country in the morning, go to a theme park and fly back the very, very same day. And they do sort of have a bit of a nickname and that is extreme day trips. That basically means you get out of your bed on the morning, fly to a different country and fly back the very same day, no hotels, no nothing like that. Uh, and that is what I have planned. I've also done a couple of these to theme parks already, but the one I'm about to do is absolutely huge. Very tiring, very long. Uh, so yeah, let's get into what it is and how you can do one of these yourself. So the first thing I say then, you need to sort of know where your nearest airport is and ideally it's an airport with a lot of budget flights. Uh, so say such something like London Stansted, Manchester, London Luton, London Gatwick, Bristol, lots of these do have cheap flights. If you live near an airport like Heathrow, that's probably not going to work as well unless you're willing to spend quite a lot more. Uh, Ideally, you also want to live near-ish to the airport, um, so you don't have to do loads of travelling. Of course, you can commute to an airport, it's not too much of a problem. Uh, but what sort of got me onto doing these extreme day trips, as I'll be calling them, uh, and as a lot of people call them, is I live very near to London Stansted. In fact, within an hour, uh, or about an hour and 15 minutes, I can walk to the airport, which means it's very easy to get to. and. Well, yeah, it's a no-brainer why I wouldn't use the airport more, especially when Ryanair have some flights from as little as 99 pence. Yep, you heard that right, 99 pence or 99 cents sometimes uh, over in mainland Europe. That's insanely cheap. Uh, now, unfortunately, I've never actually paid this little for a flight. However, most of the time you can pick up flights less than 20 pounds each way, uh, such as this trip now, which I'm going to reveal uh, to an incredible theme park, probably the best in Europe, not that I've been yet, can't wait to go. That is to Germany, to Köln, and to Phantasialand. Yes, Phantasialand, you've probably heard of it. You've probably thought, oh, I'd love to go there. Such a hassle to get to, gonna be so expensive. Love to go there someday though. Well, when I tell you the cost for going there and coming back the same day, you might be a little bit shocked. So I got looking on Ryanair uh, and I thought, right, I'm going to find some flights to Köln and I'm going to book, book a trip to Fantasialand. Now I was actually looking at doing this as like a one or two night trip, um, but I started looking at the flight times and I thought, you know what, I think as ambitious as it is, I reckon I can do this and come back the very same day. Now Fantasialand is not that far from Cologne Airport, it's about a 35 minute drive or about an hour and 10 minutes on public transport, so yeah, double the time on public transport but yeah that's sort of within an okay travel time obviously i live near the airport on this side uh, the flight times lined up perfect the price was cheapish uh, i'll get on to the price of the flights now paid 19 pounds 99 each way per adult however uh, if you are under 16 you do get a little discount off that um, which is about six pound 50 each way so that works out uh, that for two uh, people, one adult and one child, I ended up paying about £68 um, for these return flights to Cologne. Going out, we're leaving before six o'clock in the morning and we're not coming back until 10 o'clock at night. So it's a long day. Uh, I probably won't get the full uh, open till close day at Fantasyland, um, but I'll probably still get most of the day. So that's worth it in my opinion. And then park tickets. You probably think, oh, that's gonna be expensive. I booked five weeks in advance and I got my park tickets quite cheap. It was about 63 pounds for two people, that is. It's like 30 something each, uh, or 31 pound 50, I think it was. What a bargain. So really, we're looking at like 70 pounds per person for flights and park tickets. Getting that on the other side on trains and stuff looks to cost about 10 euro each way. So yeah, nice and cheap really for what is a massive theme park. 
you can do this for like if you're a couple or something less than 200 pounds or at least i think so uh so yeah that's the trip announcement fantasia land a park i've wanted to go to for so long many many years i've got quite a few videos coming up actually uh, in the next week i should have three theme park visits all in the same week uh, more than i've ever done really uh, unless it's like a longer trip um, obviously you've got this trip to Fantasyland, I've also got a trip to Chessington and a little surprise bonus trip um, that will be on the channel soon as well, hopefully I think I'll be heading to that park tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, lots of videos, also got a Theme Park Tycoon 2 video coming up, uh, a video that I've been making for like a month, uh, I've been waiting to make, so stay tuned for that one, lots of exciting content coming up on my life and posters. Uh, as we leave the Theme Park season, uh, behind here in the UK, obviously there's two more videos, uh, two more vlogs coming up from that before I head out to Germany, then that'll really be the UK theme park season over. But that just leaves more plans to go abroad. So yeah, very exciting. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.